Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Wes. Today we have a unboxing. An actual unboxing today. Never done one before. This is my first unboxing. This will be good. Um, uh, UMX Night Vapor is what we're unboxing. Uh, UMX is uh, Ultra Micro Extreme. It's definitely going to be extreme if it's got extreme in there, right? It'll be good. I like to think that's what the X on the uh, 330, my 330X is. I like to think that means extreme too. I'm not sure though. Um, anyway, let's see what it says on the box here. It says easy to fly, hopefully. Skill level 2 for intermediate pilots. Um, I don't know about that. We're going to push the limits. It has safe mode on it. So uh, we're definitely going to give it the, uh, the old try with the kids. The kids are definitely going to try this. Definitely going to try this. Um, it says it's more durable and has an upgraded power system. Apparently this thing's been around for years and years and years. A long time. I didn't, I didn't really know about it because I'm kind of new to the hobby. Um, well, I've been into it for uh, like two years now. So, in, in it for a while. But anyway, this has been around for a while. This is just an upgraded version of it. Um, it's supposed to be really cool though. Like it says, more durable, upgraded power system, LED lights. I like the night version. Um, I like my night Timber X. I'll get a night video out soon. Stick around for that. Subscribe! And then you can see that. Um, it says we can change the uh, selectable color options. I don't know if that means we can just change the color or if we can change like the pattern and it flashes and stuff. I don't know, but I, I'm pretty excited to find out. Um, with safe mode, it keeps it level too, and it limits your pitch and roll angle, all that stuff. So you can't do backflips, you're not going to be doing anything like that. It keeps you, um, well, you can turn a little bit and all that stuff. It just limits your bank angle, but you're not going to be doing any flips and stuff. And as soon as you let off the, the sticks, it goes um, self-leveling, self goes to self-leveling mode. So I really think the kids are going to try this out, and they're going to enjoy it. I think we're going to be good. Anyway, um, I'm talking a lot. Let's open this thing up. Never actually opened a box here, so let's try it. Oh, I haven't even opened it yet. I just did. I just sliced that open. We went and got it yesterday. I've been excited. I wanted to look at it. I have not looked at it yet. Look, I won't even look at it first. You guys get to look at it first, not me. Ooh, is it nice? I don't know. I can't see. Is it nice? Does it look good in there? Oh, that looks good in there. Oh, it's so cute, too. That does look good in there. Nice, and it comes with everything. I did get the ready to fly. I didn't mention that yet. I got the ready to fly. Um, it comes with everything, everything. Look, there is even, I don't know if you can see in there. There is even AA batteries for the transmitter in there. This is going to be cool. I'm excited. Um, okay, let's be careful with taking this off. This box is something you want to keep. This is, this is the uh, plane's home forever now. This is a storage box, carrying box. It's going to be super handy. Don't throw the box away. The box is storage for it. All right, styrofoam pieces come out. Just a little bit of tape, no problem. Set them there. Now let's take it out. Let's take it out. Oh my gosh, that's so light. I feel like I'm going to break it. But I don't think you will. Like They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. I'm not going to break it just by taking it out of the box for sure. Look at this. This thing looks awesome. This thing looks great. Night version, lights all the way around it. It's got a geared motor, so it's not direct drive. So that's that's fine. I'm sure a plane, it's gonna be a slow flyer anyway. And there's no ailerons. I'm super curious. I have never flown anything without ailerons. On the simulator I have, but well, this will be my first. God, that is super light, guys. Super light. Um cool. So there's the plane. Put it right here where we can see it still. I don't know. Anyway, I'll put it somewhere fancy so you can see it, right? <laughs> I don't know what it looks like on screen. What else do we have? What else do we have in here? Um, got a battery and charger. This is a 1S, um, 3.7, 150 milliamp. Um, this little battery comes with a little charger too. This is the same little setup that comes with uh, the Nano, the Blade Nano. And I'll tell you what, there's a whole bunch of different chargers you can get. Not a whole bunch. I think there's four different chargers. I don't know why I said a whole bunch. But this one has suited me just fine for a year and a half or two years that I've had my Nano. 
So I assume it's going to be just fine with this one too. Don't feel like you need to upgrade your charger right off the bat. These ones are excellent. They do really well. So battery and charger. I have no idea how I'm going to get those batteries out of there. And sheesh. I didn't know I was going to need some cutters. Let's see if I can get in there with the knife without harming the controller. Or myself. Okay, that worked. Should have had some dikes ready too. I didn't know that was going to be like that. Okay, anyway, look at this controller. This looks nice. This looks nice. It's the uh, MLP6DSM. Nice controller. Um, I've used this one before on a different model, not this, not a plane, but it looks nice. Um, I believe this is the, uh, on the helicopter, this is the bailout button. So hopefully if we're flying in, in stunt mode two, flight mode two, so that there's normal switch, there's normal on zero, or, or safe mode on zero, and then normal mode on flight mode one, and then flight mode two is switch two, I imagine, that's how it's supposed to be. And yeah, these controllers are actually pretty good. Um, it's a little, it's a little funky for me. I have grown into a pincher now, so um, I don't do any of this stuff anymore with just my thumbs. My thumbs, I feel like I'm gonna slip off. The pinchings, I like that. If you haven't tried it yet, it took me a week or so to get adjusted to the pinching. I won't go back now. I feel much more in control. What else do we have in here? The book, of course. Let's see what else. I have no idea. Let's see if we can get these batteries out. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Comes fully ready to fly. Batteries for the transmitter even. Um, you'll have to charge this battery so it's not fully ready to fly. And you are going to need a power block of some sort. Power adapter to plug this into. Um, I've uh, I've heard they're not good to plug right into the computer. I think it's because the computer doesn't charge at the same rate. So have an actual power adapter. Your little phone power adapters is what we use. They unplug and they're universal. Um, that's it for the box. But like I said, do not throw that away. That is going to be its storage case for life. Storage case for life. Then we get the manual. Nothing else, huh? Okay, manual. Um, <laughs> free swag. Horizon Hobby putting out the uh, putting the word out, word out there. Yeah, manual. Night vapor. Um, for some reason, I thought it was going to have a an extra prop, an extra propeller. I thought for some reason it might come with an extra propeller, but I don't. Want to see one? Oh, there is something here I did not see though. Let's see, here's some a little bag of extra screws. Little tiny screws too. Little tiny screws. Got the tape all over the place. I do not see an extra prop though. So for some reason I thought that was gonna happen. I I guess. No, I've never had a UMX. This is my first UMX. I don't know. It's a super slow flyer, so I don't know if I'm actually going to actually need a new prop or not. I, I, I doubt I'll ever break it. I've seen a lot of these on YouTube. A lot of people have you know, nosedived into the grass, whatever. They're fine. They're fine. They pick them up and they fly right up again, so um, I'm not too worried about anything. Cool. Anyway, I'm going to get a battery charged. Everything looks really good here. I, I'm really liking what I'm seeing. <laughs> Look at this. I don't know if you can see that. There is a little tiny, can you see that? There's a little tiny wire in the rear of it. It's like a little tail dragon, not, not like a wheel, just a little dragon wire thing. But the wheels roll, seems pretty springy. It's like you can come down pretty hard, I imagine. Wow, do you see how floaty that was? I tried to come down really fast and it just like pulled out of my hands. Oops. Anyway, stick around. We are going to go take it flying. Um, I'm going to fly it first on this controller, the MLP6DSM. I'm going to fly it on this one first. 
Um, maybe let Haley fly it. Maybe let the kids fly it. I, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I guess play it by ear on the next video. But I am gonna bind it to my DX8. This this will bind to my DX8. It will bind to a whole bunch of them actually. So um, yeah, stick around. Um, from what I've heard, they're gonna be amazing. I can't give my solid recommendation yet. This is just an unboxing. I have not flown it yet, but I imagine it's gonna be great. Um, the ready to fly. I think I forgot to mention the ready to fly was 139, and the bind and fly was 109. Yeah, my, my local hobby store didn't have the bind and fly, but they had this one in stock, and this one's going to fit the, uh, this controller's going to fit my girls' as my daughters' as hands better anyway when they try it, so, yeah. I am excited, guys, I'm excited. Stick around for the next video, I'll probably do the next video, I'm going to go fly it today, I'm going to go fly it right now, I'm going to go get the kids from school, have them fly it, um, once Haley's done with work, she can, she can come fly it. And then, uh, man, I'm excited. Anyway, I'll drop the video. Hopefully this one will come today. And uh, then the next one maybe tomorrow of us flying. And then I'll do a binding one of how to bind it to the DX8. Then we'll fly it with the DX8 and see if I notice any changes. I don't, I don't know. I, I, noticed, I noticed with my helicopters when I went from the ready to fly version and I bound it to my DX8. I had a lot more control, I had a lot more things I could do, so I'm interested to see if it's the same with this this little UMX Night Vapor. Cool. <laughs> That's the unboxing, my first unboxing. Thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe. Oh, oh it's going to be right here somewhere. Look. Subscribe button right there. Hopefully I can do that. Subscribe. If not, I'm going to look a little bit silly trying to make a little circle ball there. Thanks for watching. We'll take this out, get it flown. Subscribe. Little button right over here. Subscribe. Hopefully a new video right here too. Subscribe. New video. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah.